thanks so much for joining me. We are doing a little tutorial here on a fruit that so many people hear such wonderful things about, yet they have no idea how to crack them open or get them open. And uh, once you get them open, how to deal with what's inside. So I am here to talk about pomegranates. I absolutely love pomegranates. However, if you try to buy or purchase either the juice or the seeds that are already um, taken out of this wonderful fruit, they are so expensive. Pomegranates are actually known to be sort of the fountain of youth fruit. Uh, a lot of people talk very highly of the amount of vitamins that are found in these fruits. Basically, um, to find a good pomegranate, obviously red is a good idea. Um, this one's a little more on the pink side, but they're both very firm. You don't want them to be very mushy, um, but there has to be a little bit of give in them whatsoever. You don't want them to be rock hard either. Uh, what we do first is you get a knife, very sharp knife. You need a cutting board and you need a plastic or glass, whatever you want, filled with water, okay? So as you can see here, this is filled up probably about halfway with water. Um, one thing I want to mention is do not wear clothing that you do not want stained. Seeds in every single one of these, and the seeds are filled, and as soon as you puncture one of them, juice flies out. So you need to be very careful, number one, in how fast you're cutting it, and number two, in the clothing that you're wearing, wear some sort of an apron or some sort of a covering if you're worried about your shirt. Um, this shirt I usually just take to the beach with me, so um, I really don't care about it. But all you do is you uh, start at the top here, and you make one slice straight down the middle. Some of you have never even seen the inside of a pomegranate. So this is the inside, and you can see all the juice that has already fallen here. Uh bright red but this is a good pomegranate here uh, signs of a bad pomegranate would be uh, areas where it's very brown or the seeds are almost purplish uh, you'll notice right away that it just doesn't look right um, you lay them flat down and you do one more cut straight down the middle so you're going to end up with four pieces okay and then all you do is you take your four pieces and you drop them into a bucket of water. The reason we do this is because film around every single one of these seeds, this white film that you can see here, is entangled in every single one of these. You can see it here. Um, and the white stuff actually floats to the top of the water as you're peeling them apart. Okay, so as you can see, I kind of sort of opening this one up. And you peel the white off, and you just keep peeling, okay? And the seeds sink to the bottom, and the white actually just floats right to the top, as you can see these white things kind of floating around here. Okay, and then you just can easily pick them up. And the reason that is is because if you were sitting here, number one, they squirt juice constantly the whole time you're doing this so this way any juice that's being squirted out goes straight into the water so you see all this breaking that I'm doing here every single time I do that um, there's a seed that might be popped or that might be broken and then what happens is uh, it squirts up hits you in the face hits you in the shirt and all over the counter <laughs> and it just kind of makes a big mess so this actually works perfectly in the water because all of that juice that might be spraying all over you just goes right into the water. The nice thing about this too is you can kind of do it a lot faster. If you weren't doing it in a bucket of water you'd be working a lot slower because you'd be worried about it spraying you with juice. So you can kind of work a little more diligently, a little more faster, and not have to be worried about being sprayed at all. So here's the last one. And I usually do two at a time, um, so I'll usually have eight in here. Um, this extra one that I have sitting here, I normally would have also cut up. So see if you're working by a sink, which more than likely you would be in your kitchen. It's just so gorgeous out here right now. I thought I'd work outside for a little bit. 
bit, get some of this fresh air. But this is what you're pretty much left with. As you can see, the seeds are all at the bottom, and all you do is dump the water. As simple as pie, you can see how absolutely gorgeous these are. Beautiful red coloring, absolutely gorgeous. I eat these like popcorn, honestly. Um, I would take a few spoonfuls, put them in a bowl, and just snack on them. Uh, the one thing, like I said, to be sure of is if you know any of them are popped, you don't want to be rubbing it, rubbing your hands on your clothing or your furniture, because the red in them do stain. But they taste oh, so good, so juicy, so so good for you. Can't go wrong. So. Thanks for following me. Quick tips on uh, those fruits that scare you a little bit. Pomegranates is one of them. Thanks so much for coming by. I hope this helped you out. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Solidão é lava Que cobre tudo Amargura em minha boca Sorri seus dentes de chumbo Solidão, palavras